The modularity of the high performance lambdas is exemplified by the use of the TAMS accessory, the Total Absolute Measurement System. This accessory is also modular in and of itself. The detector components can be removed easily by the end user. And in fact, there are seven options for detectors. Why? Some materials are thick, some are thin, some are efficient scatterers, some are not efficient scatterers. Each of those sample types presents a different measurement challenge, hence the need for multiple detector sets. Typically two will be t would be fine for many users. <coughs> so we're going to go ahead and show you how to swap out the TAMS detectors. There are two. The sample detector here, in the, currently in the home position, and then the reference detector over here. The sample detector contains two screws. These are simply removed with the standard screwdriver that comes with the instrument. This one is the integrating sphere detector. And I'm going to replace it with what's called a direct detector. There's no integrating sphere in here. There's a guide pin, push down, One detector down, one to go. The reference detector looks like this. This contains five screws, sometimes four. This is a screwdriver that comes with the TAMS kit. And it's very convenient for quickly removing the screws. Then we can carefully insert our finger to pull out the existing reference detector. Once again, this is the integrating sphere uh, reference detector, silicon in gas. This detector can only go in one way. There's the connector. And in this case, this detector only requires four screws and not five. Once the reference and sample detectors have been replaced, close the lid. Put your hand in the handhold here, pivot slightly, and the TAMS is now ready to be used. <laughs>